Hello, it's Ardio. I have had a fantastic day. Just fantastic. And the card I pulled this morning was the Four of Wands, which was just one of the best cards you can pull. And I've just had an awesome day. Just one thing right after another. Ooh, one of which is I got a pink Lemurian necklace. I don't know if you all remember my obsession, my hoarding of the pink Lemurian, but I continue to do so, and now on a chain. I decided, since I had such a great... single called card drawing this morning that worked out perfectly. There must be something to it, and I was going to do the same for all of you. So let's see. Just a single card for each sign. Start with Aries. May we please have a card for Aries? Two of Cups. Going to be meeting a soulmate. There's a good chance of that. someone, maybe not a soulmate, maybe just someone that you really, 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 really like. You're in love. So that's for Aries. Gonna fall in love. Wait, I didn't even say who came next. Who comes next after Aries? Taurus. I need a card for Taurus, please. Ooh, Seven of Cups. Good one for you too, Taurus. You have many decisions to choose from, or many things to choose from. But you need to make it quick. Because the Seven of Cups don't stick around forever. You have all these choices. Everything looks like you can have the world. But if you don't decide pretty quickly, they all disappear. And I guess you're left right where you started. Either that or someone else has made a choice for you. So, let's just say you have a lot to choose from right now. And I hope you choose what is best for you. Who comes after Taurus? Gemini. We're in Gemini season. Ooh, and that just popped right out like it knew. The Queen of Wands. Well... Queen of Wands is a fire sign. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. She is very comfortable with her sexuality. She likes to do it, do it. And she loves Earth. You see her with her flower. She loves nature. And I think maybe that flower means the blossoming of her sexuality. And there's all those, uh, can't remember what they're called, back there on her chair behind her. Oh, pomegranates. And her little black cat. The story is that a wizard gave a witch a black cat to protect her. So... Gemini, I believe you're going to get laid. Alright, who's next? Cancer. That's me. Oh no. This is not that bad. I just... I was having such a good day. But what this might mean... See, I've been really depressed for a really long time now. I'm bipolar. And like I said, today I had a good day. Which is very unusual for me. So maybe this depressed life is going to blow apart and leave me as the Queen of Swords, who is very intelligent, intellectual, uh, likes to think. I love to do all those things. I write, I read, um, I read a lot. So for Cancer, no, I accidentally got two cards. I did not do that on purpose because I'm Cancer. But it looks like 
your life is about to be upended. Whatever's going on right now is about to fall apart, maybe blow apart. You know, after something like this, things always turn out better. I mean, you have to go through the misery of the breakdown and the building back up, but it always turns out better than what it was before. And see, I'm going to turn into the Queen of Swords. And I'm going to feel good and go out and tell everyone how it is. Okay, next is Leo. Let's have a card for you. Woo! I'm not taking that many cards for Leo. I'll have to start again. No five cards for Leo. Just one card. One card for Leo, like everyone else. I will take two. But one is my preference. Oh, Leo is carrying a very heavy burden right now. It's hard to tell what could be work, too much at work, could be too much with family. But look, there's a house back there, so you are eventually going to get where you're going with this burden. And that is for Leo. You're carrying a very heavy burden. You need to decide what to do with it. You could put it down, you could give it a toss in front of you and then go pick it back up and then throw it again, go pick it back up. You might feel like that you're making better progress like that. Or maybe you'll just throw it all down and walk away from it. Or maybe you'll finish up carrying it to this house and then you'll be all finished and it will be done. And you won't have to worry about it anymore. All right, so that was Leo. Who's after Leo? Virgo. Is this Virgo? I think it's Virgo. One card for Virgo, please. One card for Virgo. Can we get one card for Virgo? No. Oh, oh man. Not everyone's I wanted everyone to get great cards like me. This is the dark night of the soul. This is depression. This is anxiety. This is staying up all night crying because you just don't know what to do. So Virgo, I hope that you decide what to do and that it calms your or frazzled nerves. After Virgo is Libra. One card for Libra, please. Oop, I said one. There we go. A reversed page of cups for Libra. Well, the cups are emotional. And they're about emotions and love. Let's see, the that's reversed, but the little page of cups comes with a little fish in a cup. It's a little cup of love. Standing in front of the ocean with all those feelings, an entire ocean of them, because this is a fairly young person. And instead of it being a fairly young person learning how to deal with their emotions, this is a young person who is not in control of their emotions. And that could be you. Libra, or it could be someone you're dealing with. I just can't say for sure. Alright, I don't even need to say who is next. You want to take this one anyways? I mean, it's Scorpio. It knew which was coming next as much as I did. Scorpio got the moon. A major arcana card. I guess the tower was major arcana for cancer too. These are things that will change your life. The moon is confusion. It You need to learn to better listen to your intuition. This is actually behind the high priestess. This is, she's sitting up here with those two towers behind her and this is behind her looking back. So this is the intuition. This is confusion if you don't understand your own thoughts. So I'd say work on your intuition, maybe meditate. Your Scorpio. Okay, so who is next? Sagittarius. You don't get to make a choice. 
you had a choice to make and now you didn't and now you're being forced to do one or the other or maybe both because you didn't choose so you're going to be doing something that you probably didn't want to do okay i'm going to call this one out before i take a card what is that sagittarius didn't make their own choice got made for them capricorn One card for Capricorn, please. Oh, that's two. I'll take two. Ace of Cups and Temperance. Your cup runneth over with love, but it is not in equal quantities to keeping yourself in check. So you are wild about this person, but you're not being balanced about it. You need to balance out your feelings for this person. Don't go overboard. Don't hold back either. I mean, don't pretend like you don't really like them so that they'll like you more. Does that even work? Okay. Capricorn. Here comes Aquarius. One card for Aquarius, please. And we have the reverse four of cups. The upright Four of Cups is boredom. I'm sick of all this shit. I don't even care about that cloud handing me a cup. That's how bored I am. Reversed. I'd say Aquarius is getting pretty excited about something. Something's happening. What's happening there? Do I want to show you the card? Can you even see it? I don't really look at the camera when I'm doing this. So Aquarius is getting worked up about something hope it's something good, not like they're angry or anything. Alright, and Pisces. Let's get a card for Pisces. One card for Pisces, please. One card for Pisces. Nope, nope, nope. Not doing that. One card for Pisces. One card for Pisces, please. One card for Pisces. One card for Pisces, please. The Three of Wands. Excellent. Your ship has come in. The thing you've been planning for and working towards is starting to pay off. You can't really tell in these cards, but those are little ships in the water. There's a little ship in the water. There. And this guy's pretty happy that what he's been working on, or this person's pretty happy about what they've been working on, is starting to pay off. Who knows how far it could go. You know what? There are some things that I just cannot stand here. I want to know. I would like to know. No, I'm not using these cards. I'm missing two sets of cards. Okay. Ooh, this one smells good. I put essential oils in all of my bags with my with my cards. I don't always remember what they are. I've got a little, but I put a little thing down in them so I remember. Oh, this one has a lot of good stuff. It's doTERRA is where I get my essential oils so that I know that they're real. And this is one of the ones that they mix themselves and it's called Cheer and it smells so good. If you like the tea constant comment, it smells just like that tea. Let's see, what did I want to know? All right, we've got Aries falling in love. We've got Taurus making a choice. Gemini getting laid. Surprise, surprise. We've got Cancer having a major change in their life. We've got Leo carrying a burden. Let's see if we can figure out what kind of burden Leo is carrying. Page of Pentacles. No. It has to do with money. He doesn't have enough. It's a real burden to go around trying to pay all your bills. 
but this makes it seem like it's going to get better. I mean, because this is just the page. He's clear up to the king. So if you're worrying about money, carrying around the burden of not having enough money, it is going to begin to go away. This is the start of you being able to lay down your burden. And then who comes after Leo? Virgo. Virgo has having the dark night of the soul. Let's see if we can figure anything else about that for them. Dark night of the soul for poor old Virgo. What's going on? Just one card, please. One card, please. Oh, what's wrong with Virgo? Five of cups reversed. Well, the five of cups upright is depression. Five of Cups reversed. See, the thing, though, is when it's upright, even though he's depressed, you know he's going to get over it because there's a bridge and a castle. So when it's reversed, they're depressed. They were depressed already. And you don't know if they're going to get over it or not. So, Virgo, I hope you feel better soon. All right, one more card for Virgo. See if they're ever going to get through this. Obviously, they're going to get through this, but not very well. Looks like he may be turning to drugs or drinking. And I wish he would go to therapy instead. But I can't make someone do what they don't want to do. Um, let's see, who had the choices? That was Leo, wasn't it? This was Leo, right? Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius. So Sagittarius didn't make a choice, so it got made for them. So let's see what choice. So we don't even know what the choices are about, but we know it was emotional. There's a lot of water back there behind her. What was the final choice? One card, please. One card, please. Man, these cards smell so good. One card, please. One card for Sagittarius, please. One card for Sagittarius, please. Well, you were chosen to have to take up the bickering war. Everyone's bickering. It's like at work, probably, or maybe your friends. Everybody's taken a side, and they're all saying that their idea. It's like an argument of egos. Which one of us is right? So that's what you got stuck with because you didn't make a decision. You got stuck having to fight a battle you probably don't even care about. And I think everyone else we pretty much know how it's going to go. More than one card a piece, but I am who I am and I cannot change that. Hope you all have enjoyed my reading today. I hope you all got a card that you wanted or know how to work it out from whatever card you got. And I will see you next time. RDO out.